That's the sound of money. Welcome, welcome, episode seven. I'm Dom, this is my garage. Welcome back, 165 subscribers as it sits today. Thank you very much. Before I forget, I was invited to the very first episode of the Back Focus podcast with my good friend Rob Parker, chatting it up about all things football and filmmaking, and I'd never actually been a part of a podcast. So thanks again, Rob, check it out. I'll put a link in the description so everybody can download the Back Focus podcast. Anyways, on today's episode, I wanna dive into the job that I had before Fresno State. I found a job at a local off-road manufacturing company called Trail Gear. And that's really where I got my start in marketing. But I, I, I didn't know how to shoot rock crawling. Um, <laughs> think about a four by four buggy climbing up the side of a mountain. Well, it doesn't do that very fast. Everything is slow and steady and meticulous and technical. Like this is how it would happen. I'd have a tripod, I'd have my FS700, I'd have a mic on a driver or a spotter, I'd get on the course in a safe spot um, because you don't want to get hit by a rock or a buggy. Because it's slow moving, I could literally have a locked off wide frame and the car was going to crawl through the frame. So I'd set it and then I'd run around, I'd have a 5D Mark II and I'd snap marketing photos at the same time and then get back to the camera. And if nothing too exciting was happening uh, on the microphone, I'd flip it over into s and mode and shoot 240 frame bursts. It was a very fun time. It was a big learning experience for me. Um, I had never worked in that industry. I'd never worked in a company that manufactured things. Total creative freedom to do what I wanted to do, which was awesome. I'll make a playlist of all my favorite trail gear videos and I'll put it right here. I mean, it's everything from the rock crawling stuff to the product stuff to the lifestyle stuff. Again, I wouldn't be where I am today without trail gear. The Bolu R16, I probably bought this camera in like 2004. Sometimes it works. So the daylight spool goes here, there's a take up spool here. I'm missing my take up spool. So if anybody knows where I could find a cheap uh, 100 foot daylight spool. I'd love to have it to complete the kit here. This is a 12 to 120. Look at that. This is still gonna shoot a four by three image because it is still a regular 16 millimeter camera. Where you get a 16 by nine negative is because you have a super 16 millimeter camera and that gate is slightly opened a little bit more to record that rectangle image versus the square image. The first time I used this, I was living in Pasadena I had ordered, I think, four rolls of film, and I shot my roommate playing basketball. Oh yeah, this thing comes off too. It's a C-mount lens. Zoom in, focus. Man, that's hard. This is like an automatic lens, by the way, so it was really set up for like auto iris. You hear that? I'm just rolling the iris. That's, what it, that's the sound it makes when you roll the iris. I can see the threads, okay. Oh man, that's so cool. Look at this little baby lens. But yeah, that's the film gate. There are all, also is a model where you can spin this turret and switch focal lengths. This is like the automatic uh, version. This is the old battery. I can't twist it off, but it's a twist off battery as a grip. Never worked for me. When I was at Art Center, hanging out near the equipment room, I, of course, befriended a lot of the guys that I would check out gear from. They no longer had R16s in stock at Art Center. It had been years since they used them. Um, but they had a whole bunch of these battery belt things. And one came into my possession thanks to a very friendly equipment guy in the uh, film department named Brooks. Uh, I don't know if Brooks is still around, but thank you, Brooks, for this uh, Bull U extra battery. And it even says it like in someone's handwriting. This started out my 16 millimeter film career and then shot a lot of 35 millimeter through film school on the Airy 435 uh, film camera, motion picture camera. We would always rent our gear from Claremont camera and then really shot a lot of 16 millimeter film uh, for NFL films from 2007 till 2013. If you want to do the math, so I've got seven seasons of NFL football, eight rolls of film 
per game, 20 weeks a year. So I shot a lot of film. I don't think I'm done shooting film. Um, maybe there's a project still left in me to uh, continue to shoot film. I really do enjoy it. And I hope it makes a comeback here and hopefully the prices drop. I always try and bring value to this channel so I hope you learned something. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Like if you haven't already liked. And I will be back next week for episode eight. See you then. Thank you.